power forward by trade who's even played point guard at time. He's a great defender and a team player. He's the kind of guy you win with. Here's Wembenyama. Kicks it out to Paul. Pass to Sohan. Lock at six. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. And that one's good, Barnes. Assisted. And that's how you lead a team, literally. Here's Ball, and Ball slams it in. And a little bit of showmanship from Ball on that slam, displaying some athletic ability. Good work there as it goes. Wem Benyama's got his second bucket. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now, Wembenyama. Following the miss by LaMelo Ball from deep. Count it. Oh, how about the vision by Wembenyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. Now, here's Bridges. The kick out to Ball. Takes a three, frames the three-pointer. Ball's got seven points. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Mbenyama. And it's Mbenyama with the jam. Mbenyama is a specimen going at the rim there with a purpose. Here's Ball. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got nine. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Richard last season marked the fifth consecutive year that the Spurs missed the playoffs. And this drought came directly after their historic streak of 22 consecutive playoff appearances. But the silver lining in this stretch is that it allowed them to draft a generational talent in Wimbenyama. Charlotte moving the ball around. Back to ball. Let's the free fly. Green left side. Outside ball. Bridges for three. Pick by Bridges. Again, ball missing. And so Wembenyama will bring it up for San Antonio. It's a three point game. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Got a good look there, but just not able to hit from the mid-range. Here's Champagne. Bridges with the board. There wasn't a lot of resistance there at that rim. He just, he just tricked off a little bunny. Right side, ball. And the rejection by Rambanyama. One ten left to play in the first quarter. Five on the clock. Ball with the bucket. And Ball continues to show he can drain threes. The defense must adjust or he is going to keep doing damage. Now here's Paul. Hasn't made one yet. Can't get it to fall. Outside green. Shoots. Shot is good off the back rim and in. 14 points for LaMelo Ball. And we've come to expect big things from LaMelo offensively. He loves to attack you on that end. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Back to Curry. Pass the ball. A three. Curry can't get it to go. Here's Champagne. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Outside, ball. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. 
And so it's Victor Wembanyama making things happen for the San Antonio Spurs. He knocks eight points in the quarter and has that terrific... And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for San Antonio. I've really been impressed with how aggressive they've been inside, looking to capitalize from the paint whenever they can. Pass to Bridges. Jacks up a three. A rebound by the Spurs. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. One thing this team likes about Miles Bridges, Greg, he plays a lot. He's always there. And, and Kevin, on a couple of occasions, Bridges has been near the top in minutes played. He's got that strong 6-7 frame, and it holds up well over the season. <laughs> he won't miss many from there when Benyama. And standing easily over seven feet. When Wimby gets that ball near the hoop, literally nothing a defender can do. In the corner, it's Bridges. Green taking his time here. Here's Curry with the three. Rem Benyama with the rebound. Spurs leading by four. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. You asked Greg Popovich about Victor Wembanyama, and he says Victor's a different player. He's got talent, so you don't want to take that out of him. I tried to do that with Manu Ginobili, and I learned my lesson. Just shut up and let him play. Victor does some amazing things. His game is all-encompassing. Kevin? That's a great way to put it, D.A. It is all-encompassing. Rem Banyama is one of one. Hey, thank you for the report. Smith on the wing. Still scoreless. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. Shoots over Wesley. And it falls over the rim and in. Here's San Antonio now. Only giving up two points this quarter. Collins. Off on the layup. And you got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the play and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. Back to Curry. Knocked away. Outside, Green. Charlotte moving it around. And Curry has it in the corner. Smith for three. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. RJ, one league rule that has gotten a lot of attention. Carrying the basketball. Oh, these guys carry the ball at a ridiculous rate. Even Allen Iverson used to do it, and then eventually he took it out of his game. But yeah, the referees could clean it up a little bit. I'll be honest. Pass to Mamu Kalashvili. To the inside. Collins wide open. He fires. Here's Wesley, and he lays it straight in. Stayed with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance bucket. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Charlotte's shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws. So those are numbers you'll be happy with. You know, Greg, one thing you notice, is we were just talking about this with the Hornets in recent years, uh, a lot of changing lineups. And you expect that with the team, with where they're at. They're looking for any advantage game to game and trying to build that identity as a franchise. Pass to Wesley. Here's Mamu Kelisvili. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. One thirty-nine left from the first half of basketball. Back to Smith. All sorts of time. Williams rebounded by the Spurs. On the wing, Johnson. And slam dunk by Johnson. 
Uh-oh, Johnson with a little extra sauce. Okay. So, Greg, the Spurs last year began 15-56, and 56, but it was the ending that they're really hanging their head on. They won seven of their last 11 games. And over that closing stretch, Wimby averaged 27 points, 13 rebounds, 7 assists, and 5 blocks. A, a small glimpse into the potential of this young superstar. Pass to Collins. And here is Wesley. Six on the shot clock. Hits the three-point bomb. Wesley's got the lead up to seven now for San Antonio. Smith outside. Williams from outside. And again, the Hornets missing. For the Spurs with the ball. It's been eight unanswered points for him. There's a screen by Collins. Johnson surveying the floor. Pass to Wesley. Offline from the high post. Hornets trail by seven. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, you don't have to be quick. You just have to be deliberate. Outside, Mark. From past the arc. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's the San Antonio Spurs bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. There's Ball with the three. Basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. So often, LaMelo is the setup man. There, he's on the finishing end. Let's it go with the three. Rebounded by the Spurs. And they blow the whistle for a foul. He was trying to disrupt the fast break opportunity. The Spurs have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. Pass to Mamou Kalashvili. To the paint. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Mamou Kalashvili has got his first two points. Here's Salon. Now, here's Ball, covered by Wesley. The kick out to Williams. Back to Ball. Pass to Salon. To the wing on the left. Three pointer. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. I know what they say defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. And that one drops for him. Wesley's got seven. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. Pass to Salon. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Salon's got his first three points of the game. One thing about LaMelo Ball, he can really take over at times, Greg, when he's healthy and playing well. And a lot of that is just his feel for the game. He processes quickly and then has the talent to execute. It's pretty hard to stop him when he's in the flow. Left side, ball. Shoots over Wesley again and Williams is right there you know his positioning near the hoop always to his advantage just a terrific job to tip that one back in inside Collins and finish off by Collins feed the interior good things will happen looking at the Hornets Greg they're still in pursuit of their first trip to the NBA Finals and Kevin, I hope it happens soon because their fan base deserves it. They've stuck with this team through some difficult years. It's about time they get rewarded. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. 
Kevin, the new leadership in Charlotte has made it clear that it's not going in for quick fixes. The goal is sustained success, building with youth and development. All it roster flexibility or a blank slate, but with some promising young players and more health, there's nowhere to go but up. Kevin? Health is huge. That's the hope. Hey, David, thank you. Pass to Branham. Here's Mamu Kelishvili. Collins with it. Lays it up off the glass. Collins has got five points so far. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around. Spurs leading by five. Pass to Johnson. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Here's Wesley. Picked his pocket. It's stolen by Johnson. Here we go, one on one. Spurs passing it around. Here's Mamu Kelishvili. And it's off from three point range. The kick out to Ball. Trains it from beyond the arc. Ball's got nine points now in the quarter. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Teams putting a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. They have a chance to go two for one here. But let's see how they play the clock. Goes up on the wing, and he hits the jump shot. San Antonio leading. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Pass to Collins. Wesley with the ball. He's got nine. Rebound by Williams. Now Richards. He's guarded by Collins. Here's the screen. Outside Williams. Back to ball. It could go. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. It's San Antonio up two. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. So it's San Antonio now. The lead is two. Here's Paul. Makes it off the glass. Wow, even against contact, defense does all they can to stop Paul inside, and he still slips by them. Bridges outside. Smith outside. Kick by Bridges. Pass to man. Five to shoot. That's a two from Smith. Ren Benyama with the rebound. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Here's Sohan. Launches a three. Buries it from three-point range. And now a seven-point Spurs lead. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide-open threes like that. What are you doing? And it's Smith missing. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. And those are the type of shots that just drive coaches crazy. Look, I wouldn't be shocked to see him sitting on the bench if he tries that bad boy again. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. Oh, just an impressive dunker of the basketball. I love how Bridges just takes the initiative and gets funky with his throwdown. Back to Barnes. Rem Benyama, a screen. From outside the arc, the Spurs rebound. Pass to Sohan. With the clock winding down. And the dunk by Sohan. 
He may not have that traditional power forward build, but his balance, well, that kind of levels the playing field. The shot's good from Smith. Steady from beyond the arc. Smith's improvement from there could really make him a dangerous player. Oh, Wimbenyama! Too easy. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. Man can hit. And it's Barnes with the ball for the San Antonio Spurs. Pass to Sohan. Here's Champagny. And the three ball is good. Champagny's got the lead up to 11 now for San Antonio. Smith surveying the D. Tries the spin move. Out to the right wing. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. From the arc. San Antonio with the rebound. Here's Barnes. Back to Wembenyama. For the three. And again, it's the Spurs from deep. You can't let Paul get room to shoot from downtown. That's a recipe for disaster. And so it's Charles Lee calling timeout. Wants to make sure everybody's coordinated and intent. Tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Green. Ball from long range. And again, the Hornets missing. Spurs leading by 14. On the wing, Barnes. Now, Sohan. Ram Benyama, a screen. Stolen away. Ball with it. Guarded now by Barnes. To end the run. And it's LaMelo Ball with the three. Ball's got 12 points here in the second half. I love the fact that Bridges does a little bit of everything, including passing the ball. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for San Antonio. And they're fully in control now, but there were some tense moments ahead for them uh, throughout this game. Uh, listen, they certainly weren't coasting, despite what the score looks like. I love the way they came together, though, when everything started to look a little dire and really put the hammer down. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Victor Wembenyama. I think people could learn a lot from how versatile he was in this one. Whatever the situation was, he found a way to be a difference maker. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yeah, they fought as hard as they could. Just wasn't in the cards tonight. Pass to Wembenyama. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Oh, well, Vince, they're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. You know why? Because they are so hard to come by. So it's the Spurs with the win. That's and amazing. in the win...